this is the July recap review of the bags I carried this month. My name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave. Yes, I shopped my closet, but I also used one of my new bags. Um, so I haven't got to the other one yet because I was enjoying what I had. And what I'm doing is a recap at the end of each month and a little bit of review of the these current bags that I have. In case you were going to buy them either on the website or secondhand, you kind of know what pros and cons are on these bags. So the first one, <clears throat> I think it was really, really hot. <laughs> and so I just stuck with something very lightweight, nylon, Lululemon bag. And it's this is the, the two liter size. I don't have any problem with this size carrying all my essentials. They all fit in here. And it I wear mine like kind of across the chest and I have to have it all the way. Um, these two liter bags I think are more chest friendly than the one liter which is a little smaller. So this one is a great bag if you're looking for a an affordable $40, $50 range. Sometimes they have sales. These belt bags are very comfortable. I think they'd be great for travel or an amusement park if you don't carry too much. Yeah, love this for a hot day especially. It was great. <laughs> oh, and I believe the color is raspberry. So here it is and it has silver hardware with the silver zippers. The second bag I chose was my Quince hobo bag that Yoda just painted so of course I gotta carry it. And I on this hobo bag it is a great big size. Holds everything. Just know that the Quince hobo bag it unzips perfectly but sometimes which not right now. <laughs> sometimes this this gets caught on here but apparently not right now <laughs> so I love this bag it's like a cream color gold hardware I carried it where the flower was kind of like on the back kind of like that so it would show up <laughs> so that's how I carried it no problems comfortable strap adjustable strap I will link all the videos to these bags that I carried down below in case you want uh, more in depth of inside and measurements and stuff I'll, I'll leave that below but I can't tell you enough about the pebbled leather on, of Quince is really soft it holds up I have had zero issues some like I said the only issue would be the zipper uh, it's a little wonky but as you saw, I zipped it just fine. I don't know. <laughs> it's always a problem on these kind of bags like this where it's not just straight across. So it works for me. I love it. And obviously I'm keeping it forever now. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> and this is the Quince Hobo Bag. And I can't remember the color. I'll pop it up here if, if because I can't remember. So that was bag number two. Bag number three was my Walmart dupe of the Louis Vuitton Pichette Matisse uh, which this is has no Louis Vuitton label anywhere it's just the look for a whole lot less and these are always still available on Walmart I've had zero problems with this this white one came with a little bit of color problem there but I don't really care it was cheap and I it's functional the glazing's a little bit red, you know, which just stands out, but it works so good and this size and everything fits everything I want. No issues with the buckle here, still closes, everything's fine. 
other than that little flaw, which is in this corner, I have no complaints on these Walmart dupes. I have this in the Damier Abin print as well, and that one's actually my favorite one. But this one's good too. Um, it's, you know, I don't know how durable it's going to last, but so far it has lasted and it works fine. And, you know, a little more cardboardy to me than, you know, say my Cassie, but it's a Walmart bag and it's white checkered print is so pretty for summer. So that's my third bag. Not, not any cons for it. My fourth bag is my newer bag to me. Okay, I can smell the leather. It is American Leather Mercer Shoulder Bag with detachable straps, obviously, and there's the back side in the color Knockout Pink. Again, I just got this one. I'll link the video down below. The bag itself is so beautiful. It has feet on the bottom. I love the different stitching they used. And then these double stitches like right in the center and right up here. <laughs> but yeah, it just, uh, it was easy to carry. I just wore it with my normal strap that goes with it. Although I could have dressed it up. I didn't have any problems with the magnet. You know, I wore it for a few days. This pocket works for your phone. I really don't have any negatives on this bag because it fit all of my stuff. The shoulder strap stayed on. It's gorgeous. So that is my fourth bag, the Mercer shoulder bag in knockout pink. Next up is this gorgeous, gorgeous giant monogram db bucket bag i think that's what it's called <laughs> and this color is charcoal so it's not black it's charcoal with gold hardware i added i believe this is a dress up your purse chain with the the gold and the black hardware i thought it looked good on this bucket bag and then of course i added an extra charm <laughs> Even though it has the D&B little dangles, you know, it's all about charms now. So this does kind of add to the weight of this bag, but it's such a comfortable carry. I wear it crossbody, but you can make it a shoulder bag. Here's the back of the bag, the bottom. So I'm currently in this one and it is so easy to wear. If they come out with more of these giant DB print bags, I might have to get another one or look secondhand. But I love the turn lock. It has security for your inside essentials. I can't say enough. I sometimes leave this unzipped and just do this part because I'm lazy and stuff. But <laughs> this is a beautiful bag and I don't have any complaints. It has the feet on the bottom. It lays against your body well. It's protected with these bumpers. I don't think I have any wear. And I've carried this a few times now because I love it. <laughs> so yeah, this one is definitely staying in my collection for a long time. And yeah, the bucket bag and charcoal with the giant DBs is my final one. And I will be moving into my Michael Kors Laney Medium Crossbody because I haven't carried it yet. So that'll be my next bag for August. I can't believe we're in August. So I've enjoyed doing these little recaps and reviews and it kind of helps me figure out what I like and don't like about a bag just as much as it helps you. <laughs> I hope it helps anyway. Do you have any of these bags and have you had any complaints about any of them? Let me know down below in the comment section and if you want to know something further about each of these bags or any of my bags, you know, let me know if you want further review. But those are my bags of July and I've enjoyed all of those. I have really no complaints or bothersome things about any of them so they worked out perfect so on to on. august and uh that was the 
recap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That will help my channel grow and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already because I'm going for 2,000 subscribers and I hope to do that soon because I do have a giveaway. <laughs> not telling you the giveaway until we're closer. But thank you again for watching, subscribing, commenting. All that stuff is what we as content creators need and want because that's why we do these videos. <laughs> and we want to, to interact with you all down in the comments. So I get to know you a little more and I know who comments more than others, you know. So I appreciate all of you and have a great day. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.